So this is very exciting for people who hasn't received the Ang Pao or does not know how the Louis Vuitton Ang Pao in Singapore looks like and you haven't received it. Um, I have one here to share with you. There will, there are always a lot of frustration in not getting this thing. So the common question is how are they choosing the clients they, that they allocated to? Hello everyone, this is Murphy again, your favorite SA here in Louis Vuitton, Singapore. And today we are going to talk about something that you cannot buy in Louis Vuitton. And this video is very relevant to the upcoming occasion, which is Chinese New Year. And um, I am going to talk about today about the LV Ang Pao and how can you get it. And also, how does the Ang Pao look like this year if you haven't received it. So um, for people who doesn't know what an ampau is, it is actually a red packet where you put a money inside where traditionally um, Chinese gives out for auspicious occasions like weddings and especially Chinese New Year. Most of the time, these ampaus are given by married couple to their parents, to children and to uh, single people in the family or even uh, friends or people they know. Um, I'm, I'm no Chinese, so uh, correct me if I'm wrong, this is how I understand it. But in Singapore, we have a very, very large Chinese community. So Ang Pao, especially for luxury brands, is a thing and it's very important for them. And um, to share with you, there will there are always a lot of frustration in not getting this thing. And I know it's a piece of paper and an envelope, but this is actually the second thing that people always wanted in Louis Vuitton because well aside from Christmas collection but this is also um, if you are Chinese you would want to to get this like this is uh, something that you would want to get I guess at least in Singapore because I know there are a lot of inquiries about it so I just decided to make a video about how to get it and why not all people are getting it so um, if you want to know just keep on watching so this is very exciting for people who hasn't received the Ang Pao or does not know how the Louis Vuitton Ang Pao in Singapore looks like and you haven't received it. Um, I have one here and I would like to thank my clients who allowed me to use her Ang Pao because she's overseas for this video. I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. You know who you are. Um, so now I am going to show you how uh, the packaging looks like. So um, this is actually the LV Ang Pao. It's actually... Um, in a box that looks like a trunk you will see this trunk um, lock in there I don't know if it focuses and right over here so you know Louis Vuitton is actually very sentimental about uh, trunk making because that's how Louis Vuitton started if people doesn't know so in each and every element of the items bags sunglasses um, yeah everything really you will mostly see this locks like hidden or even yeah a lot of like parts of trunk in every every categories in uh, Louis Vuitton so anyway this is how it looks like usually it's presented with a ribbon and a card but I wouldn't waste Louis Vuitton resources by with this video I will try to take a video in the store but um, after w without the ribbon this is actually the, the actual piece and I will open it now Okay, how do I open it? Okay, so you open it from here and ta-da! You have two parts here which is gold and red. Of course, red is very important for Chinese New Year because it symbolizes wealth, luck, love, and happiness. I hope I'm right. Okay, I have to change the angle of my camera. I'm so sorry for changing the angles. So let's go back to um, the Ang Pao. So you have two parts over here, one gold and one red and i will open it now i i tried to open it earlier and I've, i kind of destroyed the stickers but you will see this um monogram flower sticker for both the sides and i'm gonna open it now wow this is actually very very pretty so you have four pieces of gold red packets over here so gold is also a symbol of wealth and prosperity and I'm not gonna put it back now we're gonna open the red side 
Okay, there's really no way for me to open this without destroying the stickers. And uh, yeah, the other side is a red packet with the monogram flower in the center. And um, taking a closer look. So having the closer look of this um, Ang Paos, which is the red packet, you will see the monogram flowers on both sides. I will grab one of this gold. Um, both are seen in monogram monogram print and um, you will also see a embossed leaf in there it's not a palm tree leaves i don't know how it's called but you see the details right here and behind is this monogram circle logo which is popularized by nicola Gesquare. So, you know, this is actually quite nice to receive when, if you are in the tradition of giving away Ang Pao. So, I hope you enjoyed that part where I showed you all the Louis Vuitton um, red packet this year. Every year it changes. I would say that working four years in Louis Vuitton, this is the first time that I see that it has two colors, which is nice. But then this video is not, it's, it's just not all about that. Uh, some clients do not understand why not all people can get it because quite literally if you don't live in Singapore, I would just like to explain that most of like department stores and some brands, once you buy something during this festive season of Chinese New Year, since Chinese New Year is widely celebrated in Singapore, a uh, red packet is a big thing. So every purchase like you know, I'll mention Uniqlo, uh, department stores. Once you buy, you will usually get one red packet. So some clients in the store, um, once they purchase something, they would ask if we have red packets. And of course, we would say we don't have and they won't understand. And we will explain. And I will explain here in this video as well. First things first. Um, if you ask for LV Ang Pao, your CA might have told you already that everything has been allocated by the management which is 101% true. Um, for some clients, they do understand that, especially in a luxury brand like Louis Vuitton, but some clients couldn't accept it and uh, they believe that everything should have it. Um, well, honestly, if it's just for CAs, we would want to please all our clients, especially our regular clients. But of course, if there are only very limited pieces, we couldn't actually just go against the management rules. So the common question is, how are they choosing the clients they, that they allocate it to? Well, first of all, number one, it's the spending power. It's the yearly spending, actually, it's not the spending power, it's the yearly spending. How much do they have, do, do they spend last year determines if they're going to get an Ampau this year. So that's one thing. And if you were to ask me how much this, do they have to, to spend or do you have to spend for you to get this Ampau, um, I cannot, I don't think I can divulge it because it's a very sensitive topic also even in the store. So if you want to know, ask your CA. Um, second one is also the relationship between your CA and you and also your loyalty to, to the store itself because um, the allocation of these Angpaos are per stores. So um, if you, let's say, reach the tier of that amount where you can get the Angpao and you don't have a permanent um, store where you usually get your items to, it's also hard to get it because it's also about um, the store's discretion of the allocation of this Angpao. So yeah, that's that's the main three things. Yearly spending, relationship with client, relationship with the store, or loyalty to the store. And I don't know how it works in other stores, but I mean in other countries, but this is how we chose or management chose people uh, to, to give the Angpao to. So um, yeah, basically that's all I can say about this video my um, tripod is actually acting out right now so I really couldn't concentrate um, recording this video but I hope you find it helpful and um, if 
you find it helpful please do not forget to subscribe and like this video i'm recording this after my work so i'm kind of like blurred right now with whatever i'm saying but i hope it turns out fine and well with you and if you have further questions about anything and everything about Louis Vuitton, just comment down below. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok. My phone number is there. If there is an urgent thing that you would like to um, ask me, just try to WhatsApp me because I don't usually check my inbox in my Instagram and TikTok. And uh, aside from that, that's all. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.